How often do you get into situation where you are shooting in high speed buffer or shooting a longer high definition video and your memory card forces you to slow down because it can't write faster than you can shoot? Most of them would have come across this situation at least once in their photography life. In this video, I will help you overcome the issue by teaching you how to select the right memory card for the right job. When we pick up a new camera for whatever glamorous specs that it gives, either a high burst rate or a higher megabit video recording, we often overlook the specs of the memory card and more so settle for a higher capacity than a right memory card. Considering the number of memory card manufacturers and the various capacities and the specs they come with, it's pretty common for anyone to get carried away with the decision. One another thing, photographer fails to realize that bigger capacity need not always be a best option because the camera might not even support a higher capacity card. Before we even jump in to figure out what are the different types of card, let's get one thing clear, the difference between B and B. Yes, we are talking about bits and bytes. A memory card has both of this info written on it and it's worthwhile to know what's the difference between the two. To get down to a very basic one, a byte is 8 bits. So just remember, every time you talk about kilobyte or megabyte, keep in mind that it has many number of bytes multiplied by 8 bits. Now the second most important thing, bits are often used to signify the transfer speed. It can be a network transfer speed or a read or write speed. Whereas the bytes is used to signify the storage capacity like 256 megabytes or 512 gigabytes. So how do you write the B indicate what you are talking about? Now let's get back to our memory cards and the types. The most common memory card type that is used in most of our cameras, be it a beginner or a pro, are the SD cards or the secure digital. The primary classification of SD cards are SD, SDHC and SDXE and it's based on the capacity of the memory card, where the HC and the XE stands for high capacity and extended capacity respectively. While this is just a classification based on the capacity, the main important classification is based on the read and write speed and that's where the second set of terminologies come into picture, the UHS and the class. First, let's look into what is UHS. UHS basically stands for ultra high speed bus which is available mainly in the SDHC and SDXC type of cards. Generally, a UHS-1 can do a data transfer of about 50 megabytes per second, whereas a UHS-2 can go all the way up to 150 megabytes per second in full duplex mode. The UHS classification is indicated by a Roman number within the letter U on the memory card. Second most important thing in the memory card is the speed class rating. Speed class rating is a standard defined by the SD association which defines the minimum required speed for writing data into the memory card. On a very basic level, there are about 4 classes. When it comes to speed, it is 2, 4, 6, 10, which literally translates to a speed of 2 megabytes per second, 4 megabytes per second, 6 megabytes per second and 10 megabytes per second respectively. The classification then moves over to UHS-3 which as I mentioned translate to around 30 megabytes per second. While high speed cards are in need of the R all thanks to the ultra high definition videos, a new naming convention has come into picture which is video speed. Example V30, V60 and V90 which translates to 30 megabytes per second, 60 megabytes per second and 90 megabytes per second respectively. If you ask me why certain cards used to mention speed as X, then it is to do with a reference to the standard speed of CD write speed, which was about 150 kilobytes per second. So a 300x card translates to 45 megabytes per second. Now that you are aware of what are the different info printed on a memory card, let's take a quick mathematical example using Panasonic GH4 and see how best we can try to figure out what memory card to choose. GH4 can shoot at a maximum of 200 megabits per second bitrate. Let's try to translate B to B by doing a simple math. Remember, 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. So, 200 megabits per second will be 25 megabytes per second. Therefore, to shoot at 200 megabits per second, you need a card that can maintain a minimum write speed of 25 megabytes per second. Now you know what kind of memory card to look for, a UHS-3 
or a V30 is a bare essential type of card that you need to be able to shoot at 200 megabits per second on a Panasonic GH4 without any write failures. You can do a similar math for photos, especially when you're shooting high speed burst. It will have to do with average file size, depending on whether you're shooting RAW or JPEG. So hope that helped understand the different kind of memory card classification and how to choose a card based on your shooting requirement. So here is me signing off from this video and wishing you good luck for the next memory card shopping. And if it's the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel. Goodbye and see you in the next one.